Okay guys, so this is kind of a part two of what we found on the truck. I wanna show you guys the good, the bad, and the ugly, because it's not always pretty. If you're gonna notice the height difference on the number two, look how high the intake is, look how low it is. I don't know if you can kind of get a gauge from there, but you're gonna see the difference. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you the valve. But there you go, those are the intake valves. Uh, definitely looks like something might have kissed it. It might have been the piston. I don't know. I'm going to double check that in a second, but uh, this is going to go back. I don't know if something internally in the cylinder head may have failed, like the guides. I don't know about that. I'm going to I'm going to send it over to the guy that does the cylinder heads, and he's going to go ahead and inspect it and see maybe I don't know, see what happened. Okay, there's kind of everything all up underneath. I don't see anything any any real anything odd, uh, except back there. I do have some extras. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna inspect things a little bit better. But again, this is the number one. You can see where the valves are definitely bent. Uh, why, I don't know, guys. So hopefully that helps better illustrate it. You can see the difference, the height difference. So I wanna show you the good and the bad. Um, you know, it's rare that any of this stuff happens, but we're gonna figure it out. We're gonna make it right and get this guy back on the road. Okay, guys, so we figured out exactly what was happening. I had a friend help me out, and for some reason, I didn't even think about this at all. So. This is your intake cam. This is the one off of another truck, another DD15. This is the one off of the truck that we just took off. Okay, I'm gonna show you something really quick. This is just to kind of simulate what it would look like if they were at TDC. Now I know it's not TDC, but okay, take a look right there. Okay, there's TDC and that's gonna be TDC. So if you're looking at the lobes, I'm gonna back it up all the way. This is the intake. This would be your number one. Right, so if you're at TDC, this is where your number one would look at. So you're standing, on, you're standing on the truck. This is what you're looking at. You're looking down. Let me back it up again. So if you're looking down, this is your number one, your number two, three, four, five, and six. Now check out this one. This is the one that came off of the damaged truck. Number one, two, three, four, five, six. Now this is where you're going to notice exactly what happened. Now I don't know why this happened. I don't think it was an overspeed issue because there's no fault codes for an overspeed. Typically, these trucks will trigger a fault code for that. So if you're looking at the number one, here we go. There's your number one. This is the lobe on the number one. Okay, this is a good one. This is off of another truck, a different DD15 2017-ish, right around there. And this is this truck. Okay, here's the front of it. This is the number one. What do you guys notice? Look at the lobe. It's kind of pointing at the seven o'clock position, right? So here's your six o'clock. There's your, I guess you could call it your seven o'clock, eight o'clock position. And then look at that one. Again, TDC, this is your nine o'clock position. So you can see the lobe has spun and this is why you had the issue where the valves were open when the piston came up and kissed it and there you go. So we're gonna have to replace this. We're gonna double check and make sure that we have no further issues when it comes to the piston on the number one. If there's nothing wrong with it there, I mean, there's a there's a bit of a mark where the valves hit, but if there's no, no actual damage, I'm gonna see what the customer wants to do. If they wanna replace the piston, the connecting rod and go from there, or if they just simply wanna send it by replacing just the cam, the head obviously has to get repaired and we'll go from there. Now, if you guys are gonna wonder, is this a warranty job? Technically, this would not be a warranty job, but I'm gonna work with the customer because I mean, the, the name of the game guys is really trying to make your customers happy and go in from there. So again, if you can see that there, there's the lobes, okay? Good lobe, bad lobe. And that would make all the difference in the world, especially if the cam, here, let me rotate this really quick, guys, hold on. Especially if the cam is supposed to be, let's just say, pushing up, right? Let's just say it's at the high, at the high peak of the, of the lobe. This is a good one. And then this is the bad one. So look at the dis look at the difference on that, guys. You can see where the lobe should be, right? So let's just kind of do this, a little side-by-side -side comparison so you can see what's going on here. Hold on, guys. So let's just kind of move this to the to the left, to the right, and then we're gonna do the same thing here to the left, to the right. So you can see for yourself, look at the difference how much this lobe traveled forward. So yeah, if the lobe should be open or closed, that's gonna make a hell of a difference and that would definitely explain that. So we're gonna replace this. Let's get this guy back on the road, but I wanted to show you that. Now I've never actually had this happen to me. I've heard of guys 
encountering this where the lobe has either spun, you know, one way or the other. But uh, yeah, this is actually the first time for me. So we're gonna, again, put this shit back together, get this guy back on the road and go from there, guys. So if this video helps somebody out in the future, uh, I hope it never happens to you, but if it does, at least you kind of know where to start and what to do, guys. So again, all I ask, very, very simple. If you like the videos and they help you out, give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe. That's all I ask. Guys, have a, guys, have a great day.